Hey, we're here with Jason and we're looking at our new Play 350 series. Um, it's a light duty toy hauler from ATC. Tell us about it, man. Why, why do we build this, first of all? Yeah, so if you're familiar with our current ATC toy haulers, we we cover uh, travel trailer toy haulers all the way up to the big fifth wheel toy haulers. We can fit any of your toys, yeah. uh, even a full size four door Jeep Wrangler. Um, so we want something smaller at a lower price point. So just uh, everybody can get one of an ATC toy hauler without yep. having to get a brand new truck. So we introduced this 350 series, which is a single axle toy hauler. Um, we're coming out with two models, the 1210 and the 1412. Okay. And they're designed for the smaller toys and for people who still love the all the um, benefits that an ATC brings. Still no wood, built construction, how's it built? Yeah, so just like all of our other ATC product, it is uh, all aluminum construction, no okay. wood, um, six-sided welded box. Um, we use composite flooring. So yeah, even no all the walls are welded tube aluminum, the yep. roof's aluminum, just like we've done everything else. Just like our, and our no big wood toy haulers. Yep. Yeah, awesome. Mm -hmm. So a couple other things. We mentioned it's all aluminum, so obviously it's light, but mm -hmm. what, what are the actual weight? What are some things I could tow it with? What are the weights of this thing? Yeah. So our 1412 model um, weighs, base model weighs around 1700. Okay. Optioned up, it's right around 2000. It gives us a carrying capacity of about 3000 pounds on our 1412 model. Has a GVWR of 5000. Okay. So on our 1210 model, it has a GVWR of 3850. And it, it weighs in between 14 and 1700 pounds, depending on how it's optioned. Okay. So you'll have just right around just over 2,000 pounds carrying capacity wow. in the 12, 1210 so model. Really pretty small, mm -hmm. but I can put some serious weight in it until it uses a cargo trailer or a camper that can really haul some heavy stuff. So yeah, yeah. Um, and you're jumping ahead a little bit, but you talked about you can use it as a cargo trailer because mm -hmm. of our configurability. You can take out all the cabinets and everything and make it a cargo trailer mm -hmm. and use it as such. Yeah. Um, and then, but it's designed for the small toys like the kayaks being this no wood, you don't have to worry about getting anything wet. You can spray everything out. Mm -hmm. No worry of rot or deterioration. Yeah, well, let's look at the back and then we'll kind of see what, what we can fit in it. Okay. While well, here checking out some of the, some of the more of the exterior features, this is one of the different kinds of axle tire sets you can get or? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have an off-road appearance package. Okay. Um, and this one has the off-road appearance package. It has the all-terrain tire, Jeep style terrain fender, and it has three inches more ground clearance. Mm. Standard is a, a street tire with a smooth, rounded, sleek fender. And like I said, it's three inches lower. And even though it's three inches lower, it still can go. Um, you don't have to worry about bottoming out. It, it is high enough ground clearance. We made sure of that. And something else that's not part of the package that is standard on every trailer is this exterior track. And this is modeled after what we do on the interior. Mm -hmm. um, we're developing products that can fasten into this track. Currently, our spare tire mounts on the other side of the trailer on this track, but we're going to develop products like a, a lockable storage box, um, some tables, and maybe even some uh, cooking appliances that can fit into the track. And it, all torsion axles, brakes mm -hmm. on everything, um, all that kind of standard, just one of the many things you get on the toy hauler. Yeah, we use a, a torsion axle standard. Okay. Um, all of them do have brakes, even on these smaller units. Um, comes with a 12 volt awning with light strip. Yeah, we in we talked about the earlier tar haulers that you know they're usually bigger, three quarter ton diesel trucks. What are the vehicles that we kind of targeted that you could tow this with? That is a good question, and one of the main points we came up with this new 350 series is to to target the vehicles like a midsize SUV, compact mm -hmm. truck, and above. Because um, what we hear with a lot of our toy haulers is, oh, we love your toy hauler, we want your product, but I don't have to buy a new truck. Because, uh, as you know, we make them large to fit the big toys. Yeah. Um, with these, you can get in an ATC product. You don't have to go out and buy a new vehicle if you already have that midsize SUV or compact truck. Yeah, it opens up a whole new realm of customers for us that we haven't been able to serve before. So mm -hmm. it's exciting to see it us hit our dealer's lots. Yep. Awesome. This thing looks so cool. <laughs> you can see that it's we got a nice color set, lots of cabinets. But what actual toys can I take in this thing? Yeah, so this was designed for the smaller toys like a, a quad or um, some dirt bikes, mm. electric bicycles, 
you can put kayaks in here. Yeah. Um, this 1210 model has approximately from the cabinet to the back is almost 10 feet. Our 1412 model will have almost 12 feet from the cabinet to the back. Yeah, there's so many people have campers, but then you want to take the bicycles or whatever for the kids or whatever. You got a dog when you need all the gear. It's it's so nice to just pop this ramp down, throw it in there. You're not going to hurt anything. You can load it in there. And um, so it gives you a great space to carry all your cargo to go through the mountains or whatever you want to do. It's a yeah. good setup. And even in our 1412 model, I didn't mm. mention this earlier, but it will fit a, a two seat two seat side by side. Mm. Um, from wall to wall is approximately 78 inches, so they will fit. So I know we're going to talk about all the configuration. This is very, uh, very innovative. What actually stays standard on this unit? So our base starter package includes mm -hmm. the six foot sleeper sofa. Mm -hmm. The This cabinet here, which houses the sink, it comes with a five gallon fresh water bottle that you can just use from your you can just pick buy them at your local grocery store okay and it also has a five gallon jerry can which collects all of the wastewater as soon as it gets full you just take it out and dump it okay. also standard is the 30 amp electrical service so this sectional wall right here comes standard this cabinet and this sofa and it, this sofa is what becomes i can have this as a bed like mm -hmm. that or i can fold it up against the wall and get out of the way to put my motorcycle in or whatever yeah okay so and you can option a second sofa so instead of having these cabinets along the wall um you can have a second sofa and when it's folded into bed position this actually meets right here and makes like a, a mm. large so a nice bed bigger, area bigger yeah. sleeping area awesome and so, then <laughs> this cabinet up here is optional we call this our uh appliance cabinet because okay. it has a slider tray on the bottom the latch oh, is down there by you yep. Dale okay. you want to undo right the latch All right. and that slides out it's meant for a, a chest type refrigerator we do have a 12 volt outlet down here you can plug into put your chest type 12 volt cooler right there or just a standard regular uh, cooler with ice but it's just nice with the slide out tray it makes easier access for a flip top chest type cooler okay and then it just uh, this this whole wall right here is also optional it makes for an exterior storage compartment that yeah, so that passes all the way through you can actually move this out right here yeah yeah there's just a little knob here take it mm -hmm. out make it the way you want so mm -hmm. you've got this furniture track system in here which we've done in our big toy haulers and mm -hmm. this this is a whole new level for ATC. you actually did the cabinets that way too and mm -hmm. explain how all that works yeah we took our furniture track up a notch basically mm -hmm. um like our other toy haulers, it has the track along the bottom that the um, sofa is fastened to. You can get a fold down counter fastened to that lower track. But in these 350 series, we put a track up top as well. Okay. So all of our cabinetry can fasten to this track. You can move it anywhere along the track or either side. And it has soft touch knobs on these cabinets so there are no tools involved to remove them or move them. Okay. So a little bit, just comfort. Um, I'm going to sleep in here. It's going to be hot. Is there air conditioning? Is there heat, insulation? What about those kind of things? Okay, yeah, good question. So they do come standard with a uh, 12 volt roof vent that does okay. um, air intake or exhaust. Okay. Um, air conditioning is an option and we're soon to have heat available as well. Okay. What about the insulation in them? Is it, is it insulated or It not? is insulated. So we have R7 in the floor and the sidewalls and R14 in the ceiling and it's all closed cell. So all and we even it? have an underbelly on the bottom side okay with radiant barrier okay um what are these in the floor more airline track but mm -hmm. what's the intent of those so yeah the airline track in the floor um is designed just to to tie down strap down your toys mm -hmm. um and we put them throughout various locations throughout the floor you had talked about the 30 amp package for the electric that comes with it what tell me more what else comes with this for lighting electric all that Okay, so we have the light strips on the ceiling. They are on a dimmer switch over right behind you, Dale. Okay. Um, yep. Nice. Um, so that's the lighting. We have a lot of 12 volt in here. Mm -hmm. um, we have the USB and Type C and 12 volt socket rapid rapid charging okay. outlets. Four of for them in, in the trailer, two on each side. Yeah. Yep. Plenty. Um, but as far as the electrical, I, I told you we offer the 30 ampere left electrical service that's what comes standard um but you have a choice you can choose the prep for a lithium battery or for solar generators solar generators are becoming more and more popular you want to make sure people um can use them on their rv easily so we have designed an a prep 
that is just plug and play for a solar generator. Okay. And is there solar prep in the old fashion of charging my battery on this or is that? We have solar ports on the exterior. Okay. So you can get a mobile solar panel. Okay. You can place them anywhere you want and it's plug and play I'll right on the port on the side. charge my phones, all that stuff from it. So yeah. awesome. Yep. Very good. And, or you can just use a portable generator like many people do. And we do have a space in the tongue area. You can sit it when not in use. So Jason, we're starting to produce these now at the plant. We're starting to come off the line. We're starting to ship out to our dealers. What what am I gonna see at the dealer's lots? What are the, how are they gonna look when they get there? Okay, so we have two different decor packages for the interior. We have the, the cashmere gray walls, which is a medium mm -hmm. gray. We also have the linen beige, which is a whitish More of a tan, beige. Yeah, yeah, a lighter color. Okay. Um, and then we also have some pre-configured packages one of them, for example, is this wall package you see here called the 60 inch wall package. It has two of the, the end cabinets. It has the shelf and it has the wall cabinets along the bottom. And again, the beauty of this is if, if you see this at your dealer's lot, you don't like it set up this way, you can take it out. It's two knobs for each cabinet. You can just take it off the wall or you can move it over here. Yeah, there's so much, um, even if life changes, and mm -hmm. I really thought I needed this trailer this way, but we got a new toy or a new hobby or whatever. I can literally move, swap these around, move them out, take them, use it for different uses or mm -hmm. let somebody borrow it that I don't want to mess with my cabinets or whatever. I can take those out quick. And, right. Um, what about future ideas? I know we always, we listen to our customers. We're on social mm -hmm. media. We're here. Oh man, I wish I had this and had that. How are we going to handle that with this kind of unit? That's a great question, Dale. Um, and something that uh, we pay, pay very close attention to. Um, we know we are coming out with a, a toilet package um, and a heat package, and we are very close to releasing those. And the great thing about this is you could buy one of them without that. And if you wanted to add it at a later date, you can, because we're making it all configurable like modules within this trailer. So if you bought one today and it doesn't have the toilet, you can add it after the fact. Yeah, as as we or come out who knows what those else parts. we'll come up with, with yeah. it, you know whatever kind of fun toy, mm -hmm. we're going to make sure it's able to be added easily, bolted in or mm -hmm. screwed in with just a couple knobs. And you go to dealer, pick up the part and they can put it in for you or you can move it in and out yourself. Yeah, it's, it's really going to be very easy. It's something that in most cases, depending on what the package may be, is something they can do themselves. So no but, way. But it yeah. will not be, it will not obsolete what they have today. Yeah, I'm not going to be stuck with this plan any rv you everybody seems to like every <clears throat> couple of years they're trading them in or doing something i gotta upgrade or whatever mm -hmm. this you can just keep <laughs> interchanging it and making it what you need for the next yeah, it, phase of life it, and it fits with our model because our mm -hmm. construction is is made to last yeah um and that's why we offer a five-year structural warranty on these mm. um so you don't have to trade it in every couple of years right yeah. you can keep it and they're meant to last to pass on to the next generation in your family or if, if you do have to sell it, that person's not stuck with that model either. So it's very sellable. Yes. So, yeah, yep. Very good. And thanks for showing it to me. Any other things we want to speak about before we're done? Um, check out our website at mm -hmm. atctrailers.com. Yeah. Um, it'll, it'll list uh, all the features and you can also have find our dealers that are located throughout the country. Yep. Awesome. Thanks, Jason.